folks, uh, Wild Bill here. Uh, this is uh, video number three of my three-part series. Uh, this video is Listen to the Music Play. Um, if, if you haven't watched the first two videos, I highly recommend that you do that. This video will reference those others. And so in order uh, of how I created them, the first video is Are You Being Monitored? And the second video is, Do You Believe in the RNG? This video, we'll talk about both of those. And I'm going to do the same format. I'm going to put uh, slot play in the background. And then I mute all of that audio and overlay this audio. And then at certain points in the, in the video, I will have um, either diagrams or... Uh, patents and so on. So it's going to be more technical and if you don't like that then you won't like this video but if you want to learn then I think you'll love this video because I think most of you are kind of stuck in the RNG world of the EEPROM era <laughs> which means um, you think that every spin is um, going to give you a different outcome um, in fact, because it's such an um, important topic, I've, I've actually created uh, a system diagram to help people understand where they're at right now. So the first uh, image that I'm going to put in is a, a drawing that I made. Um, and it's the EEPROM system architecture. Um, and in that architecture, which was valid in the, from the 90s to approximately 2010, uh, where they started and moved to server-based slots, but from, you know, for a good 10, 15 years, slot machines were using an EEPROM, right? And you could see on the left, the slot machine had the EEPROM. You would have had CPU, networking, graphics, but really that slot machine was the EEPROM. Um, it would have had game code, the RNG, one pay table, right? And a known payback percentage. In fact, if you're a casino and you were getting a slot machine, you would tell the manufacturer, hey, I want something in, you know, 92% payback. And that was it. I mean, if you wanted to change your payback percentages, you would have to take that machine, open it up, take that EEPROM out, put a different EEPROM in. Okay. Now, roughly in 2010, which is from the first video, the Are You Being Monitored, this place I could see where the manufacturers were talking about a player database, including player history, in that particular, um, that particular version of the system is where they introduce the image recognition uh, in the casino, right? Uh, and I went through on that first video, Are You Being Monitored? And I showed you images and patents. And so I'm trying to show that, hey, this is really built into it. And I'm not going to go back and spend any more time with that. But what I want to do is put up the next image, which again is, it's related more to, um, which is number two. And so the next image is a pay table that I made and I've changed it to try to, to try to help you understand, um, the overall, you know, what a pay table is. So this is a triple star example. And I purposely made it 10 rows, and in each reel, uh, there's only two blue sevens. So mathematically, it's very straightforward. You have two out of 10 rows are blue sevens, meaning one in five, and then you have to hit reel one, reel two, and reel three. And so the odds of you hitting uh, blue seven is one in 25, or one in 125, right? So... In that video, Do You Believe in the RNG, 
you know, I actually went through and showed how they introduced a bunch of new, uh, a bunch of new parts to the system, uh, including a pay table database where they could have multiple pay tables, not like an EEPROM where there's a single pay table and a known payback percentage. And I put up the patents where they added a pay table database, a rules database, and uh, jackpot only was what the patent was about was a way for you to get you know a jackpot if you passed certain thresholds so the the next image <clears throat> that i'm going to put up is um, related to another patent and i think it's important because this particular patent actually ties into that. And so, just going to quickly put up this image, but it's patent US 9754445B2. Okay, so you can look it up. Um, and you can go read it. And I, I would definitely encourage you to do, you know, more research. But the one that's, you know, going to be more important is the actual abstract from that patent, which is, it's a patent for <laughs> just love it. I'm not making this stuff up, folks. Go look at it. Go find it on the internet. It's a stress detecting input device for a gaming machine. Okay, they are literally have are changing the buttons so that they can figure out how hard are you hitting the buttons, how frustrated are you, how much have you been losing, right? They've actually got a patent where now they have buttons that tie into either the player, I'm not quite sure where it goes, probably the player database, because there would be many of these, and it would tie into history, how hard is Wild Bill hitting that button, right? So the reason that I thought that that was important is because, again, it ties into the rules database that got introduced in the Do You Believe in the RNG video, right? In that video, I talked about rules and how you could pass over thresholds. Right? So, with all that new information, I'm actually going to introduce uh, another system architecture document. But this is one that I've made. Um, and this one, I believe, shows a system architecture that's actually in place right now. Okay? So, on the left is a slot machine, and the slot machine is now pretty much has nothing. It's got a CPU, of course, network card, and a graphics card, and that's it. Now, that means is everything is switched over to the server. And I'm just going to mention the control program and the music soundtrack um, because that was the name of this video. Do you know? Listen to the music play. But let's go through the rest of it first. On the server now is game code. The player database with the ability to hold your history, do image matching. But now there's pay table ba database, which can have multiple pay tables for a game, including jackpot only pay tables. And then, of course, <clears throat> the rules database with thresholds that are, if you surpass them, that one or more outcomes can occur. One of which is to get you a jackpot only pay table but that's not going to be a guarantee okay which I'll talk about later and finally the RNG and I've purposely put RNG last because if you think about that ability to change a pay table and that previous image I put up where the best you can do is blue sevens and you only have a one in 125 chance you know trying to show you that that RNG is becoming less and less meaningful in the overall um, part of the system, right? So to, to go back to the system architecture then, I want to get back to, you know, listen to the music play and talk about the control program. Now, there is nothing in the patents that talk about this, but this is something that I think is true because of all the changes that have been made, and they've made the whole system an active system, right? 
by making everything active, they have to have some kind of software that controls it all. In other words, something that says, oh, turn the slots on, turn the slots off, pay Wild Bill. Oh, he's done a, he's, you know, he's, he's lost $3,000 in the last two hours, so he's passed a threshold. Pay him. There's got to be a control program running. And I believe that what it's doing is using a musical soundtrack. In other words, think about it. If, if you can do anything now because you've got an active system, I think what they've done is they've actually um, put in background music to enhance that. And so the next, um, the next image I'm going to put up is a whole bunch of songs. And then I want to talk about how the songs are part of the system and can actually help you understand where are we in the in this active system that you're now playing in. So to start with, the songs you really want to hear would be good songs like Fame um, by David Bowie or Something to Talk About by Bonnie Raitt, You Got It by Roy Orbison, Shining Star. I mean, these are all uplifting, you know, I think they mean that you are in the good part of the active system and that um, better pay tables have been loaded, etc. Okay? And it's something that you can actually use to your benefit. So if you walk in the casino and they're playing songs like this, typically what you hear then is you hear the machines are paying, you hear, you know, credits being, right? So the system is, is live. It's, it's going to pay right now, okay? Which is perfect. It's right, <laughs> right where you want to be, right? But the thing is, is that there's other categories. Okay, there's transitional music. Um, Help is on the way by a little river band. In other words, in an active system, they know they haven't been paying you, right? They've had crappy pay tables in there for who knows how long. But they're telling you, hey, help is on the way. Or every day is a winding road by Cheryl Crow, right? Or you can't always get what you want by Rolling Stones. Where These are transitional songs where in an active system, the casino knows that, hey, they haven't had good pay tables in for hours. But hey, they want you to stay. And so they're telling you, hey, help is on the way kind of thing, right? And then on the negative side, um, these are songs you just don't want to hear, right? Free Fallen. I mean, you know, go. I'll put my website up at the end of this. I mean, go look at the <laughs> lyrics of some of these songs. House of the Rising Sun. Um, I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Rolling Stones. She's So Cold. I mean, think about it, folks. When you're hearing this kind of music at Casino, you are not winning. Right? She's so cold, living on a prayer. I mean, the, these, the musical soundtrack has been designed, and, and there's a lot. I mean, you can go out on the internet and you can find uh, a ton of writing about music and casinos. I can't find anything, though, that says, hey, they've tied it all together. But what I'm telling you is that I believe that that's what's going on. And so your goal um, when you go to casino, what I'm trying to do is get you enough information so that you can actually, you know, take advantage of this. In other words, um, let's say everything, I'm going to put up another image. This is going to be the last one. Um, I call it the 4 and 10 rule. Okay. So the 4 and 10 rule works like this. Everything for you is finally lined up. You've watched these videos. You understand that there's a musical soundtrack that you can use. You know there's an active system. You know that they can change pay tables. And they are changing pay tables. Um, when all the stars line up, and you're actually at Casino, and they're playing songs like Fame, and let's give them something to talk about, there's one sort of final caveat, which is, 
they don't load pay tables on every machine that are good. Okay, so I use a 4 and 10 rule, meaning that when everything's all finally lined up for you, it doesn't mean that your favorite machine is going to be the one that got a pay table. The best I've seen is 4 out of 10 machines are actually paying. So you still might have to hunt around. You might have to play two, three different machines before you find one, but that's way better than the negative. And I don't have an image or a slide for that, but on the negative side, I would guess it's 1 in 30, meaning you're going to go hunt and hunt and hunt and play up to 30 different machines before you'll actually find one game that has a decent uh, pay table. So that's the last image, and that kind of covers what I wanted to talk about. So the Go back and um, talk about, I'm going to put up the uh, server base slots image one more time so I can just kind of do a review of what, uh, what, where I think we're at in terms of you go to casino and it's an active system. There's a control programming running tied to a musical soundtrack. And so I've given you a way to... Uh, use that soundtrack to your benefit, right? So you would want to change how you, uh, maybe how you approach casino. If you're like a lot of people, you go to casino and you're like, wham, I'm going to run right to my machine, right? Well, I don't think you should do that, right? For me, the first thing I do when I walk into the casino is I listen for the music, okay? I'm trying to figure out um, what's, what kind of music is playing? Is it that transitional mode? Is it really bad? Is it the good stuff? Okay. Knowing that all the different active parts of the system are tied to that server and tied to that control program, right? So I think you have to learn a different way to play a casino. You have to be able to take breaks. You have to be able to, um, you know, just basically walk away, leave, Right? If, I mean, there's no guarantee that you'll ever get, you know, the happy music. Um, so that's it. That's what I wanted to talk about. So hopefully you'll read through this stuff, maybe even go do some more reading. Like I said, I've put all the patents up. I've put up like gaming control board uh, documents and so on that will allow you to go and read and understand um, what is really going on in the casino now in 2010 or 2020. Um, so that's it. This is Wild Bill. Thanks for uh, watching. And again, more, more importantly, thanks for listening. Um, hopefully you've liked these videos and, um, and hopefully they'll help you in the future. So thanks a lot.